My name is Lori Nix. I've always been interested in danger and disaster, particularly from my childhood spent in western Kansas where every season brought a new uh, disaster, tornado season, hail season, blizzards, and I've experienced them all as a child. So I'm very interested in that. And it, this is just a natural progression of the work. Now that I live in New York City and I've been there for 14 years, just seeing how the city is, how it changes, how it doesn't change. And that's the idea behind my body of work. I'm thinking that something happens, something catastrophic happens overnight and the cities are, are just emptied out within hours. And so what's left behind are buildings and how they might age over time and be taken over again by nature. First, I come up with the idea, and then I sketch it out on paper. Because there's two of us working on these, it's me and my partner Kathleen. And so by sketching it on paper, she kind of gets an idea of how I'm thinking that the space should exist. And then from there I start my research, either going visiting places that might already exist, or going online and doing um, image research. Get an idea of what all, the, what all the things might be contained in the space. And then slowly start building them. Absolutely, because this is how I approach it. I've always wanted to know what would I do if, you know, if catastrophe was heading my way. How might I see myself in this space and how might I survive? And I'm thinking about climate change. It seems very apparent that we're in the uh, throes of climate change. And um, we need, it'll be slow, you know, and we'll deal with these changes as they come. But I think we're there. I think it's amazing. I think it's great. Any opportunity to get students or anyone to walk and to look and actively look at art, that's, an, that's definitely an accomplishment.